We're Okay. All right. All right, there. You there? Yep, we're good. Okay. All right. Morning. Morning, Pay. Morning. What you got? So this morning we have the oldest cub. She um, just had her birthday a few days ago. The 25th. Yep. So she is now 23. 23. And she's learning how to cook on her own. So a lot of the videos that I do that are very instructional or geared towards someone who's learning. And so today she wanted to learn how to do a Waffle House style mm -hmm. uh, ha or hash browns, mm -hmm. right? So what I did at work was well, – I didn't do it at work. What I did was oops, print it off what you do. Can you read that? Not really. Okay. Yep. So, I mean, instead of hash browns, we're going to use tater tots because she likes tater tots. And really, who doesn't like tater tots, right? That's what life with all girls has taught me. We got right. uh, so we got a bunch of groceries over here. We got the uh, onions. We got some. Uh, I got Rotel uh, instead of the the diced tomatoes. I got some uh, French's jalapeno, like French jalapeno things instead of real jalapenos. Um, ham, cheese. I got gravy and uh, chili and some mushrooms and. Mm -hmm. Bacon grease, of course, and uh, some Uncle Steve's and whatnot. And uh, well, anyway, mm -hmm. let's get into this. All right. Cheers. Let me turn the camera around. I forget how to turn the All right. camera around. First person in this morning is Jay Barry, JB Barry. Good morning. That's up the line again. There you go. There we go. JB, what's up, Barry? Peyton, good morning. Okay, let me. Let, I'm trying to figure out how to turn this camera around again. Without good morning to you too. Back facing. There we go. Now, whoops. <laughs> okay. Can you see that, Pay? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. There, there we go. Okay. So we got our groceries going, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So what we have here, we have our little cauldrons going. Mm-hmm. I've got gravy and I got chili. I got them up pretty high because these little cauldrons got feet on them. Mm-hmm. Boy, that's hot. Yeah. And they're getting hot, nice and hot and starting to bubble, so that's good. We got this one here rolling, and we got our press heating up. Sid's going to go ahead and uh, get started. Let's take this press off. It's going to be hot, so let's move it over here. Yeah, go on, that's hot. Let's turn this down. <laughs> so All what's right. the first step? So first, got good old bacon grease. Mm-hmm. She's going to paint it on like Picasso. Make a little Just happy like trees. Picasso. That's you know, like Bob, Bob Ross, Picasso. happy trees. Put a little boulder. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a nice boulder. That's a nice boulder. Yep. Get her good. Get her good. All right. Now we got our tater tots. Put a good, good size mm -hmm. handful. Maybe get two again. 
I let these sit out for about, I don't know, about 30 minutes or so to try to defrost. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to try to get them in close. Try to get them in closer. Let's move them up here. All right. Take our press, set it on here, and push down. Hear that sizzle? All right, now. Oh, yeah. All right, Princess, go ahead and get a little ham, a little onion, a little... Uh, Yep, get that stuff going. So could you use any meat or does it have to be this ham? It can be anything. Um, you know, if you have we used ham because that's what that's what Waffle House has. But if mm -hmm. you had if you had, um, you know, sausage or bacon or whatever, yeah, do whatever. There, is that a little bit better? Okay. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. yeah, there we go. There we go. Camera angle, right? <laughs> Mr. Pass Iron. Mr. Pass Iron just joined in. Good morning, gang. Howdy, Mike. Glad morning. you could join us this morning. I was watching your interview from last night uh, while I was texting you this morning. That's a good show, man. I like, I like, I really do enjoy that show. Right there. Now you want season with salt, pepper, or Uncle Steve's? It's up to you. That's that's a like a barbecue, like a beefy rub. So it's got a she's new new to the Uncle Steve's uh, gang. So. What season are you? There it is. Bring it up a little bit. <laughs> Uncle Steve's thick meat. Just a little bit. It goes a long way. It's a heavier black pepper rub. Mm -hmm. I'll toss it. Here, move it around. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Another comment from Mr. Castle. Amen. Said, well, we appreciate y'all too. Thank you. And Mike, thank you for the advice on the uh, Amazon stuff. Uh, it took me about two and a half hours to get that stuff filled out, and I finally did. So uh, it looks like we I'm in that uh, probation period right now. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, what do you think, kid? It's good. It's good. It smells good. It Let's give your uh, taters on a smash. Oh, yeah. You see it go down? There it is. That's nice. That's nice. All right. Pull the whole thing off. Right. It's going to be high, so be careful. Yeah. Let me, let me move this closer. <laughs> Because really, you don't need me in the picture. All right. It's stuck to the bottom. Sean, watch it. <laughs> Daddy to the rescue. <laughs> there we go. Forgot we didn't spray our pain, but that's all right. You can just. Oops. The first one's always a little. <laughs> Always oh, a little wonky trying to get her started. It's all right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Another one Still of our still. buddies joined. Strong adventures. And hey, y'all. Billy. All right. Now this, because we don't want to we just sit it right here. Okay. All right. Now season your taters. A little thick meat. So for those that just joined, we're making hash browns like ones they have in the house. Stir your, uh, get a spoon for your cauldron. Which one? Yeah. yeah, just one for each one. Good job. So, Billy, uh, my oldest bear cub is uh, home this weekend. 
And during a lot of the videos, I try to pretend that I'm talking to her as far as um, on what we're cooking and how we're cooking, you know, because she's learning to cook. And she does have her own cast iron skillet, and she doesn't use it much because she's, eh, you know, kind of, I don't know about afraid. Are you afraid? Yes. So I, I gear a lot of my videos with her in mind. And uh, she wanted to learn how to make uh, hash browns this morning, uh, Waffle House style. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Uh, I said, you don't want to learn how to do it? Here we go. So I printed off the uh, Waffle House hash brown menu, and uh, we have everything lined out for her to uh, to do it. And she's this is her first time making these and her first time doing them on the cast iron. Kind of Waffle House style. Go ahead and turn your uh, hash browns. No, you're fine. You use it. Yes, yeah, fine. Just, just, yeah, there you go. And we're using tear tots instead of hash browns. A little bit of Uncle Steve's thick meat. She's, uh, she's just learning about that. So what yep. we have is ham, onions, and mushrooms, sauteing in a little bit of bacon grease. We have um, tater tots with Uncle Steve's thick meat. We have two little cauldrons, uh, those little half-court cauldrons with a uh, hot dog chili and uh, sausage gravy. And they're just over there heating up and percolating. And then we have more fixings on the backside with cheese. We got these jalapeno, uh, crunchy jalapenos and uh, some, some tomatoes. She's getting ready to add a spoonful of tomatoes to this uh, mix here. Okay. Strong Adventure says very cool. It's the one thing one thing that she asked, she said, I want Waffle House hash browns. And Dad said, okay. There you go. We're using a slotted spoon in that so we don't get a ton of moisture, but we want some. And we want to kind of caramel, uh, we want to kind of dry out those tomatoes, but yet keep everything flavored. Hey, Sydney. Yes. You have a few you they be very great. And then Miss Mr. Castar already said he's hungry. So that you're doing something right, Sid. Oh yeah. So that's my plan. Uh, you remember me talking about Brian. Yep. That's JB Berry. Okay. Yeah. Um cooking with Cad, how you doing, bud? Been a long time. Yep, he just joined. He said good morning, and it sounds okay. delicious. You might have to use the long one. That's fine. You don't have to. However you want to do it. It's hard for me to kind of stand back and watch, but. <laughs> all right, I'll listen to the part. That's all right. We get the cheese on there, and it'll it'll come together. Woo! Moisture popped out of the ham. <laughs> Got a popper. Craig, how you doing, brother? Yep. We got behind the garage barbecue just joined. He said hello to everybody. Say hello, Craig. Hello. Uh, Brian said, Lee, this is Brian. I'll come over after church. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be here. We're going to watch the 1130 service, so we'll be here. Behind the garage barbecue also said, hey, Lee, hey, Cubs. And Strong Adventures said, Sydney, yep, I agree with you, Mike. They're making me hungry. Well, that's what I'm here for. Uh, cooking with Cad. Cook You're doing good. Thanks. Did you flip them? He said, the oh, flip them? Yeah, flip <laughs> And they're making biscuits and gravy. Because you'd rather have it or make it. Well, thank you. We thought about biscuits and gravy, but since she's home this week, um, she's actually in between jobs. She's getting ready to start another job. So uh, she's home this week, and she's like, I want to learn how to do this. And we're like, sweet. I'll go ahead and put these on, move that towards the center. And, and I know 
cooking with cat. It's not a blackstone, but this is this is the best I got. I just scoop these on top of that, and then we'll put a piece of cheese on it. Do you want the jalapenos or the gravy or anything? Huh? You do not. Okay. Put some chili on there, and then we'll put the dome on it. <clears throat> so where was I? Yeah. So she's home this week, and. Uh, she wanted to learn how to do this and she's learning how to cook and she does have a cast iron skillet, but she doesn't really know how to use it because she's afraid. So I said, well, there's no, the way to look at fear is just to get in there and do it. So yeah, the girls got to learn to cook. The fat boys got to eat. Cooking with Cad said, oh, well, I think I actually prefer my cast iron to the Blackstone. Can't really beat cast iron. True. That is very true. Um, I had been talking about a Blackstone for a while, but then, uh, you know, I, I look at this this uh, little two burner setup and I'm like, I it's hard to beat because I can do everything that I could do on a Blackstone on this. Cooking with Crazy Pop said, good morning. What's up, Butch? How you doing, buddy? Good morning. I, I did catch part of the um the hot seat uh blackstone thing. That was pretty cool, man. That was that was a lot to keep up with. I don't know when pickles came in and he said if it's waffled a prison tattoo. She has plenty of well, tattoos already, gonna... Mama Bear said. We were going to get out the Sharpies and write on our necks and stuff, but uh, the kids didn't get up early enough. And my artistic skills weren't uh, there yet. They weren't awake. Mm -hmm. put, the, put the dome over it. Yep. And Daddy, check this out, Dutch fellas. Barbecue join. Check this out. So last week I didn't have one. I got one now. I got me a dome, and it's a smoking bear's dome. Look at that. Ken, Daddy, how you doing? Like, good morning from Texas. Yes, they went to Texas and they've been with Uncle Steve and uh, Bottle Cap Barbecue and they was all over the place and looked like yesterday they they had a ton of people out there. Really? Yeah, they were at uh, uh, Chef Johnny's place mm -hmm. and they had Jared was there, uh, Grumpus, uh, Kent and CJ and Chris and Uncle Steve. That mm -hmm. looked like they had a, a great time. Yeah. Mr. Cast Iron says, look at Lee talking about your new dome, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Actually just bought that yesterday and uh Michael took, Reese. had to take a hair dryer. Had to take a hair dryer to it and uh, get the label off and then put on my little smoke and bears one so that way I can keep it. Michael Reese joined. He said, Hi, everybody. What's up? Thank you. That's, that's my danger. Huh? Oh. Michael Reese is my danger. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, hi, Jess. Tennessee Buck Outdoors said, good morning, everybody. I wake up to this. Now I need some food. Oh, you ready to check the dome? Think you're making some enemies. Lift the dome. This is this is yeah. like the cloak on a, oh, look at that. Holy smokes, kid. All right. Dad, gone. that looks good. <laughs> use, the, use the big one. This one until yep. Yep. Here she goes. She's going to play <laughs> it up. Yes, he Josh said, and Babe were there. T. Roy and James uh, from Amy McClain. Brother James. Yes, that was an awesome meetup. Look at that, guys. Man, that's, that's good. That's your first hash brown or Waffle House style hash browns. Man. Okay, Pay, what do you want on yours? Load up. Huh? No jalapenos, though. Those light me up. You want everything but Fill jalapenos? It up just with no jalapenos. All right. Yep. Mm. 
So, Sid, how you liking using cast iron? It's not too bad. It's not scary. This uh, spritz. I was about to say, you think you can do it on Probably not. But maybe. Is that good, Pete? <laughs> That's a CPR. You better learn how to cook. <laughs> Brian said, lift the dome. Yummy. Yeah, the dome action. <laughs> Behind the garage barbecue said, looking awesome. Make me a plate. Well, come on down. Tell me what you want, brother, and it's on. By the time you get here, it'll be cold, but uh, Tennessee Buck Outdoors. Lots of cheese and bacon, yeah. Lots of bacon. A little bit of bacon grease right I there. I eat that with bacon. Yeah, cheese and bacon. Oh. <laughs> All right. Sid, keep me entertained for a second. I got to refill my coffee. How do you want me to? Okay. <laughs> Next thing you want to make? What's the next thing you want to make on cast iron skillets? I don't know, honestly. This is just no, you don't know at all. No, this is the thing I've been wanting for months. Well, Jess, Mike, and Jess said, Can Sydney come back up here and make this one for me? I'll see what I can do. Well, now she's back on Thursday. Pickle said, bring me some hatch green chives. Green chilies? Chilies. <laughs> that is in our... You can't really see. There you go. I got some cheapo retail. And we got these. You guys ever had these? Boy, yep. they, all, they got a little kick to them. They do. I was not expecting them to be that high, and it dang lit me up. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cooking with Crazy Pod said I got to plan me a trip to Rock Hill. Okay. Absolutely, but I can't wait to meet up with you, man. Dad's made so many friends on YouTube, and he's like, "I just wait. I just can't wait to meet them. It's gonna be great." <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Looking good, kid. Thanks, man. Man, it's almost like she's a natural. Maybe I am. She learned a few things. <laughs> ah, I wonder how. <laughs> mm -hmm. Making noodles in college, man. The noodles, Dad. That's it's the a way. scale. It's the college noodles. Here, scoot those forward so I can smash them. <laughs> I was getting caught on the lip. I'm oh, sorry. That came in and he looked at his plate and he lifted it up. All of it was gone already. Hey, did you want tomato? That's wrong. Hi. You know me and my waiter, Sid? I figured, I figured. I just wanted to ask. Maybe you're feeling a little indifferent today. You know, because we're quirky. Yeah. Chef Cubs. So, Sydney, Mr. Cassar is calling you Chef Cubs. That's me. That's fine. I'll work with. I'll work with it. I'll work with it. He want to know what's in the mason jar. Yeah. Okay. In in that mason jar <laughs> or Pay's mason jar. Ours is bacon grease. I'm not sure what. Pay's is probably coffee. Yeah, I'm not sure what concoction Pay's got. <laughs> I got coffee. 
No, no, no. Brian said, have a great day. The food looks good. Thanks, Brian. Thank, thank you, Brian. Pickles smash is calling it smash talk. And Brian also said, Rock Hill is a great place. It is. It's a great place. It's just a little out outside the box. Depends on where you go. The <laughs> Jeff says a mason jar with coffee. Okay. Yep. Tomato. Hey. I have Ready? since I started Say hi. Here, hey I guys. Wait. You know, Rep and the Marshall do what I do best. <laughs> I wouldn't say your best. Yeah, but. She's trying. There you go. Get that sizzle out. There goes one there. We saw the back in me. <laughs> What's your order, Mom? No. What kind of seasoning you want, Faye? Salt, pepper? You want... Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. Chef Choice. Chef Choice. Ooh. Yep. Well, I use this one. I'm going to give you this one, Pete. That's fine. A little Gator Shake. That is Billy's favorite. Mr. Cast Iron said, I love the Rotel action. Yes. Saved a lot of time. We didn't have to cut up all the maters. Yeah. Put some on the Yep. Gator shake. Oh, Butch, my uh, my order came in, and uh, man, Uncle Steve filled the package, and I can't wait to use that dessert shake. Bear Cub tore into that as yep. soon as I pulled it out of the bag. Bear Cub tore into it and ripped it open and fell in love. And then she comes up and she says, okay, now I need to make some uh, monkey bread. Uh, Pete, Look at what you can. Oh, uh, sure. And gravy. Marshall beat us in basketball yesterday. Boo. Marshall beat us in men's basketball yesterday. Ooh. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't even turn it on yesterday. We were kind of busy doing stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the Cubs went out uh, trying their hand at door dashing. So. Man, Sydney took me DoorDash. Check and see if we need to flip. You can probably use both of them. Behind the garage barbecue commented on the dessert shake, said it rocked. Yeah, uh, we're looking forward to messing around with that. Then oh, Cook It With Crazy good. Pop said, I have to order some more. I don't have the dessert shake or the smoke bomb yet. Well, I think we have the smoke bomb. We definitely have this, the dessert shake. Right as we got it, got it, Bear Cub popped it open, put it to my nose. was like, smell this. What does it smell like? Yep, the smoke bomb came in. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, work schedule has been a little a little wild this week, so uh, been been a little lazy in yeah. the old kitchen. Hey, do you want chili and gravy or just chili? Mm -hmm. Just chili. Just chili. Okay. You said you wanted some jalapenos? She said no jalapenos. No. Yeah, they, they light me up like a firework. <sighs> the smoke bomb. So I've been doing flavor. this thing, y'all, where we'll be listening to a, uh, to a like, song and there's like the people in the back that are like yeah yeah and so I'll just randomly start joining them oh look at that we'll have to get into the smoke bomb and do a little try yeah I was gonna get wings or, or something like that uh, maybe next Ooh. week I got a chicken in the fridge or in the freezer yep I might try yeah. try to do that with. Did you want pepper jack or cheddar? Don't matter. 
Okay. Well, Chef's Choice, so you're getting Pepper Jacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is such a turn of events. I used to make her, like, dinner. Like, I used to cook for her. Now she's cooking for me. I know, right? Man. Oh, how the pins have turned. The turns have tables, Peyton. The turns have tables. <laughs> Man. And you going to stay for a little while? Table, 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 table. <laughs> the tops. Just grab this way and pull. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so she we would were do doing wonderful. Ashton last night, and order came in for like ten dollars. Man, is she? Hey, Butch, like, we click think it, she's it. a natural. We think she's she'd be a natural on a blackstone. Oh, your cheese is already, Mel. You don't have to donut. Mm -hmm. She's learning. She, she is. Ugh, she's coming for your career, Dad. Hey, somebody's got to take it over when I go. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you guys continue these live streams, Peyton's going to be broadcast lady and, uh, You can do the uh, the old shepherd skills. Well, Sydney, like you got some back comments back. that just rolled in. Cooking with Crazy Pop oh. says, oh, yeah, she has skills. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Behind the Grudge Barbecue. She's got skills with a thumbs up, Sid. A thumbs up. Look at that, Nancy. I'm coming for your career. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. You can have it. <laughs> Behind I'm the Grudge Barbecue. Home fries. Iron. He said, I made French fries today. I'm eating leftovers now with ketchup and gator shake and a donut with dessert shake. LOL. Sounds pretty Ooh. good. On it. Got to work on the dismount, but otherwise. <laughs> it failed the dismount, man. It's all about, yep. She's doing good, though. I, I'm pretty impressed. Right. You wouldn't She's believe this is the first time ever making this. Nope. Yeah, especially on a cast iron. Yep. She's never cooked on a griddle like this. Get all them bits and pieces mm -hmm. there. And you're taking them to yeah, she's never made this. Never cooked on a flat griddle like this. She's only cooked on her own cast iron skillet, what, a handful of times? Mm -hmm. Once, yeah, like once or twice because she's scared of it. So <laughs> we're getting her unscurred. Do you want me to take it? I'll take it in. You start the next one. Okay. Unscurred. You get the hash browns. Use the bacon grease. Use the hash browns. Figure out what mom wants unscurred. Yep. Mom, tell what you want. So there's chili, no. gravy, no. jalapenos, no. pepper jack, or cheddar. Mater? Um, ham. Yeah. Ham with pepper jack and cheddar. Cheddar cheese. Mustard No ham. Yes, ham. Yes, ham. Jalapenos? No. Do you want gator shake or salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. Boring. Salt and pepper. I need to make y'all like like enemies of me. This is good. This is good. Mm. This is good. Thumbs up, Sid. Thank you. Her glasses about fell off because her head just went boom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Come on over, Butch. Cooking with Grace Love it. said you can cook at your door soon. Come on we over. You're space. only about Don't worry about hour, it. Two, you're about two hours away. Yep. <clears throat> Sounds like a pretty good deal. Mm -mm -mm. Grace is right by me, Dad, trying to get some of my food. 
Oh, Rex is? Yeah. Mr. Cast Iron said, dude, that dessert shake spilled all over into my bacon, and it's still off the chain. That actually sounds really good. Man. Yes. So, so, Mike, I used to make a <laughs> candy bacon, and I would oh, use a, a brown sugar mm. heavy wheat rub, and I would roll the bacon in it and then smoke it. And Man. it was completely off the chain. Everybody loved it. I bet that dessert shake would be killer. Yep. Smoke. So candy we were in the car last night, just shake. like thinking of chain, and we played. We play a two chain song, and I look at Sydney, and I go, "No one dead." All out of all the music we play, this is me the one song he knows because it's by two chain. By your man, Sydney two chain. I don't the only way I know know him other than his name is he was on that show, um, The Most Expensivist. And I only started watching that show because they went to, I think it was uh, Pit Maker, and they were looking at one of their high end uh, barbecue pits. And it was like, I don't know, $50,000 or something like that. Mm -hmm. and that's the only way I'd, I would know the guy. The thing is, well, wait. And we like first one time, and I was like the rapper, and Dad goes two chains. Taylor Swift. I'm out of guesses. Yeah, I don't know very so, much. That's his two go to bands. Look at the crazy pop said, I'm gonna need a big bottle of that dessert shake. <laughs> Behind the garage barbecue said, I made French toast with the dessert shake. It, dessert shake. It was crazy good. That's I, I wanted some of that dessert shake for the uh, French toast last week, but it didn't come in yet. We ended up using that French that cinnamon toast crunch mm -hmm. seasoning stuff. But that dessert shake would be killer on French toast. Mr. Cast Iron says, it does sound good to Lee talking about the um, candy bacon. Mm. Yeah, I need, to, I need to do a video on that because that stuff was killer. I couldn't keep it Dang. keep it in stock. I mean, it was people just coming over left and right for it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mama's tomatoes. Man, you can have muscles after this. Uh, mom, did you want tomatoes and chili? No. Salt and pepper. So, no. Mom threw some shots at you, Sid. Me? What? Yeah. So I was like, you're about to have most of it at the end of this. And mom said, she going to need them. Oh. Yeah. Well, tell them about, so she just got a, a job offer and she's got to go through the whole process to get to get the job, but it's still an offer and we're working towards that. So if you want to tell them a little bit about that, go ahead. Um, it's actually in Wilmington, North Carolina. So I'll be about three and a half hours away from Rock Hill. Um, I'm going to be doing probation and parole. So I have to go through all the training of uh, using a gun, uh, doing defense mechanism, um, arresting all that fun stuff, and I'm super excited about it. Mm -hmm. Mama, Mama Bear asked what uh, she's excited about for new job, Sid. What am I excited about? Um, um, probably just said what's into the Mama Bear said, what am I excited about with your new job? Mom is excited that I'm going to be an hour and a half away from the beach. Yep. So Wilmington is what? About an hour and a half from Myrtle Beach? Um, I think so. So she'll be over that way. Yeah. Close to the coast. Sid, <clears throat> you got some supporters in the chat behind the garbage. 
or behind the garage barbecue said, awesome. Good luck on the new job. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Mom showed me a video of this, like, animal getting tickled. It's what? An animal getting some tickles. Oh. Oh. Well, I hear the I hear the dog barking. Oh, it's a fish. It's like a stingray. Yeah, I don't know if they're barking. So, Pay, how was your week this week? I really didn't see you much. Yeah, it was good. I worked, so I worked this week. Um, I worked pretty much all day yesterday. So, yeah, I thought I just had to take the ACT my junior year and then retake it if I wanted to. Maybe the SAT. Well, I go in Thursday, and my teacher's like, oh, yeah, um, Tuesday. We're gonna take yes, sir. All right, what you may ask, it's how smart are you to be in the service or how well you would do in the service? So... You can just set that up on the top You can just set it right there, yeah. So, we're going to see how that goes. <laughs> so, what is your favorite class? ROTC. That, that is my favorite class. It's right by weightlifting right now. Right by weightlifting. Cool, cool. So how was your week today? Nope. This week. Oh, well, the first two days was kind of iffy because Mama Bear had uh, had to go get COVID tested. So I was out of work just in case it came back positive, but came back negative. So everything was good. She was uh, back to good health uh, Wednesday. And uh, uh, I mm -hmm. went back to work Wednesday night. And, uh, you know, that's work's work. I try to keep them separated and, uh, Keep work at work and keep home at home, and then uh, end up working late. Got off work about seven, eight o'clock. No, seven o'clock yesterday morning. So it was kind of hectic yesterday. Just not sleeping, and uh, got up and uh, we went to the grocery and got got the groceries for this. And yeah, woke up excited about this. About this. How Mm-hmm. Yep. So uh Uncle you know, Andy, what's up? You so Hello. Say hi to Uncle Andy. Hi, Andy. He said woke up and turned on, walked into Candy Bacon Talk, my mouth started watering. Yes, sir. I'm Uncle gonna have Andy. to do a video on that. Flip I, it. I'm... Flip it. Same thing hot noodles like actual. <laughs> Huh. Wash hands, wash hands, wash hands, wash hands. Yeah, we were doing a lot of that. We keep our little sanitizer wipes around. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, Sydney, try to how do was that. your week? Take, take your vitamins, wash your hands, um, don't call nobody. It was pretty good. I worked because I work in West Virginia doing social work right now. Um, and then mm -hmm. I had my birthday on Thursday, and my major mm -hmm. made me to dinner. Um, and then I came down here Friday to do fingerprinting and for the new job. And I car back. Or door dashing. Got your car back. I got my car back. She is shiny and new for the and has no problems. For those who don't know, so, Sydney's car was really got, loud. Or got well, yeah. back in, on th uh, Halloween, I actually, my car was involved in a hit and run in West Virginia. And I've had it for a total of two weeks since then because it's been in and out of car shops because mm -hmm. the first car shop told me they could fix it, but really they could not. So I've been dealing with car issues for about four months. <laughs> Great. Yep. So it turns out good. it it was needed needed a whole new back co corner panel and which she has an Xterra, so it turned into not an Xterra. What is it? A train. A train. 
And that whole back corner panel turned into the whole right side. Basically, the whole the whole passenger side from the back door <laughs> to the hatch. <laughs> they had to pull the window and all that stuff. It was just a mess. It was it was bad. And then You'll we ended up getting that done. And said, well, how "Yummy breakfast." Then we had to get uh, what new tires, new mm -hmm. alternator because the alternator died. While it was getting messed up or fixed, both. And behind the garage barbecue gave you a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Right. And, Sydney, you might have some people you need to feed now. Who? You got 10 people watching and they're all like, hello. People, no, there's like 10 people here that are. Yeah. I know Mikey um, and Jess wanted me to do it. You, you got some supporters now. <laughs> She wanted cheese. Cheese. Hi. Cheddar. Mm -hmm. So how's everybody else's week? Yeah, how's everybody else doing? You know, Pay, what I think we ought we should do is uh, ask people to put questions in the comments. And then we'll answer those questions. Yeah. Next Wait, time. My questions and answers. Yeah. yeah just just have yeah. put it in the comments, and we'll 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 put them into answer next week. Yeah. Okay. Behind the barbecue garage barbecue said you got ten people really hungry. Well, that's what I'm here for. That's what we're supposed to be doing. She's a learning. <laughs> Mr. Iron said that his his week was really busy, and same thing with um, behind the garage barbecue. Go ahead and but hopefully slide it over and don't. today is like a chill day or like a refresh. Yep, gotta have that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Boy, that dome looks good. It's an it's a step up from the foil pan we used last week. Yeah, it really is. Got to use this what has you got. a handle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got the bear logo, smoke bears. I don't know if you can see this. I was at There's Wally World when I got. I was at Wally World when I got the dome. They had this magnetic strip right here, so mm -hmm. like my steel. Boom. I can just put it, hang it right there. My knife, my spatulas after I clean them, I can keep all that stuff right here. It's a pretty neat little deal. And it was only like six bucks. Nice. Yeah. Mr. Cast Iron said, but Friday I cooked pork steaks at work. LOL. That sounds like a pretty good day. You know? Uh, Tennessee oh. Buck Outdoors said, at least we don't have snow. That is true. Dad hates snow. Oh, I dealt with snow all like two weeks ago. It was yeah. awful. She was up in West Virginia there, um, just outside Huntington. Um and they got that snowstorm that, that the oh, rest of the country got. I was out of work for a week because I couldn't <laughs> get out of my house. Yeah. We got down here we got cold, we got tons of rain. I think it rained fourteen out of sixteen or eighteen days. Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. Mama asked, she so said, is it because of the snow or just because she can't drive <laughs> in the snow? Um, let's go with just because of the snow. All right, let's see. I like Look that. Look at the cheese. Behind okay. the barbecue, or behind the garage barbecue said all our snow is finally gone. Okay. Craig, yeah, how this is, is 12. 12. By nine. All right. Cooking with Crazy Pop said, no snow, but we're about to float away. Yep. Brother, you ain't a kid, man. My backyard is flooded Uncle because Andy of said the... It went from... Oh, all the rain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was supposed to, um, from negative 14 degrees to 50 yesterday, 
the sun I used grill for the first time in the entire 2020 one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm we glad I'm not in Ohio anymore. We've had like 30 up to 80, back down to 70 to 30. I, I, I think it went to 80. Uncle Andy, I was supposed to come up there a couple weeks ago, but then it started snowing real bad. Uh, Tennessee Buck Outdoors said, we have rain now, but if you need more, I know what that <laughs> I know what like those are. <laughs> <laughs> I know a guy. <laughs> Behind the garage barbecue said, nice lid. A little fit my 17 and 22 inch Blackstone. Right, right. Yeah, I was I was looking at different options and I didn't want to spend 40 bucks on the Blackstone one. So uh, Wally World had that one for 10. And I was like, well, shoot. I'm all about that. Yep. I was going to take like a uh, metal lasagna pan and just put a knob on it, but uh, you know this this has already had everything and good to go. You want everything? Yeah. Behind the garage barbecue also said we had rain all day yesterday. <sighs> yesterday it got up to about seventy. This whole like South Carolina like, weather got me going. When I got off work at seven in the morning, it was like. 35 and then it got up to 70 by four in the afternoon. <clears throat> yep. And the garage barbecue also said, I'm sold. Yep. Um, man, that's it for right now. She came down, she said, I hate the snow. I hate getting out more. Yep. The snow is not my friend. That's part of the reason why we moved south was, uh, I'm tired of shoveling snow and dealing with snow. Yeah. I don't want to. That's our life pretty much. So. Mm -mm. What kid, you're doing an all right job. Okay. Look at the new skills you learn. See, that makes the, the argument over how you cut mm -hmm. things worth it, doesn't it? Maybe. Behind the garage barbecue said we haven't had sun in over a week. Dreary skies. <laughs> no kidding. I can't. Yeah. I love I'm the sun. I'm just ready for the sun. I'm ready for it. The sun was shining good I'm yesterday, ready for but it had a nice, nice good breeze. Yeah, I'm ready for Annie to say the sun will come out tomorrow, and it actually happened. Me too. You know? Um, Tennessee Buck Outdoors. Here in Middle Tennessee, we are in for bad weather today. Let's well, make sure you're careful. And what kind of weather does it call for? That's mom how her stuff is because she's over there making noises. <laughs> hey mom, how's your food? <laughs> Made by your best daughter. Oldest. Not best, the oldest. Best. Hey, 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 hey. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the best, but you you do um you do our dash. So I mean I kinda have to say that because I'm I'm dashing with you later. So Yeah, yeah. Believe, believe what you want, even though it's conspiracy. No, it's not a conspiracy. It's the facts. It's, it's, a, it's a conspiracy. Pickles said plenty of sun here. <laughs> Cabin fever sucks? Absolutely. Night, Charlie. <laughs> Tennessee Bug yeah. Outdoors said hail and tornadoes. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Wow, Jeff, that's crazy. Yeah. Supposed to be getting a day. Yeah, that's crazy. Pickle said, I'm done with winter. Me too. Me I'm ready too. for spring. 
I'm ready to dress like a leprechaun and hop outside and not have to worry about being cold. Hey, don't you do that every day, though? So, so hey, you, they, the tell them why uh, St. Patrick's Day is your favorite holiday. Okay, so. You're breaking up really bad. Oh. Oh. Well, I was born the day after St. Patty's Day, and um, my uncle's a leprechaun, so I was like, it's perfect. And my favorite animal is a unicorn, and they help the leprechauns, you know. It goes in full circle. We just let her believe what she wants to do, guys. It's my favorite thing. Like, I went out one year for breakfast on um, St. Patty's Day, and I had a, like, my hair was in a four-leaf clover. Man. It's yeah, Mike, I got these uh, these bacon presses. I got two of them for our, um, <clears throat> our challenge that we were on a couple years ago with the uh, kitchen versus kitchen. And uh, we made breakfast. Uh, what did we smash sausage patty on our broke stone, which was an electric griddle. Uh, and I don't use them that often, but you know they're they're fantastic. For hash browns. Huh? Mom asks if I'm embarrassing on St. Patty's Day. Yes, very much so. I only go out with her if I have to. See, I'm just embarrassing every day, y'all. It's so much. That is also a true statement. When you take her out, you don't know what you're going to get yeah, out of her. A little gator shake on there. Yep, a little gator shake. <clears throat> it's the same as with Dad. That's also true. So we were sitting at the table and dad does this thing where he'll start talking and then he'll stay quiet for five minutes and then we'll start talking again. He goes, I wasn't done, but I mean, I, I wasn't guess. done talking, but I guess you can just talk over me. <laughs> Since you were throwing me under the bus. He did it the same. He did it that night. It's part of my ADD. Oh, we know. We still like to make fun of you. Attention, daughter deficit. Everything for your ADD, Dad. Oh. You like to think we're not there sometimes. Yeah. So. My attention, daughter deficit. Yeah. That's a very true thing. You know, we didn't plan this out, Pay, but we're at almost an hour, and we've just about got breakfast done. That's pretty yeah. darn cool. That's pretty darn right? cool. You want anything else? We'll put some tomatoes in there. Okay. And smash up a few of those little jalapenos. Okay. I'm, I'm glutton for punishment. I'm asking for punishment. Only because Pickles is in here and he always likes it when I can burn Christmas myself. Tree, Dad. <clears throat> That's true. Tennessee Buck Outdoors says, Oh, that is oh, so me. If I take a breath, someone someone's things, I'm finished talking. Well, see, Tennessee Buck. That'll just like That's he'll have a hard to say. You should have been just see him. Like, yeah, he'll just, he'll just stop talking and he'll look around and, and then he'll like just his for five minutes. Is over. <laughs> right, next time, even if it's in the middle of a sentence, and then this conversation back over. up. And then we have no idea what, what he was talking about to begin with. So we just let it happen. But then he'll just...
Anyway. Yep. And, and then we're like, then, he, then like a day later, he goes, and so like I was saying. <laughs> Pickle said, you know it. Talking about the jalapenos. Oh, they're in there. All right. And then Strong Adventure says, I got them on. Y'all have a great week. You too, Billy. You too, Billy. Have a good one. Give Rhonda a hug. You got any chili or anything, guys? Uh, yes. Put it down a little. I'm about to flip them. Yep. Man, mine's about gone, Sid. Oh, damn. What? Eric in. Eric's in. He said, good morning. Nephew Eric. So, so Eric, I'm glad you're here. I had a an old high school friend reach out to me about her son who wants to start a YouTube channel and he's seven years old and he wants to get into gaming. And I I shared your channel as reference so she could see what it is you do and maybe convince him to get into cooking. So if you have any advice for her, that'd be um. awesome. So, Sydney, I, I'm guessing um, Tennessee Buck is defending dad with this comment. He said, girls, it is a Southern thing. Well, I don't think it is. Oh, I apparently. Out of it. Well, out of it. Mr. Castor says he does it too, Lee. He drives Teresa mad. See, so, it, it might be an age thing. Don't defend our dad. Don't fight him up. See? All these young kids, they just want everything quick, 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 quick. Where some of us got to think about how we word things so we don't hurt anybody's feelings. Dad, that does not stop you. Mama Bear popped up on the couch. She said I was about to say. Has that stopped you? I mean that you were the one that <laughs> Mr. Castor said it's a capital. Hello. I think it's a dad thing because I'm a Virgo. So I think it's just a dad thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep. So me and Sydney do this thing with my with Bear Cub where um, we just kind of talk in tongues. That's my parents like to say. So we'll talk, talk from like TikTok, Divine Streams. And that just reminded me, Mr. Castor, and there was this thing, and it was like, sorry, I'm a, per I'm a Pisces. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, they talk in TikTok. They talk in this thing called Vines. Vines, this thing called Vines. <laughs> I don't even know what all that stuff is. Um, I don't even know. Mr. Cass Iron said age maybe then? LOL. Well, maybe because he said dad's been 25 for the past 20 years. So. <laughs> yeah, somebody stop counting because I'm 23. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> All those years. Love. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I know you see hey. me sitting here. <laughs> Eric, Dad, he said, Uncle, I started off playing and teaching in my videos, and somehow I only do cooking. I started to cook when I was about four. The first thing I made was fruitcake. Man. Awesome. Mr. Cast Iron said, I Yeah, you put a on it and some put a little gravy on it too. Wow. I know, Mike. Some of us guys. Okay, Pickle, man, you didn't have together. to come for us like that. He said, 
Sydney, Pickles oh, really oh, came for me. us. He said, you have to speak in three second first to teens. They have no attention spans. And he exactly. said, and you have to throw in memes. Okay. Maybe. But. Exactly. That's why TikTok is so popular. Because it's 15 seconds and that's it. Squirrel. Dad. Your attention spans. Dad. Yeah. The dumb. But I have ADD, so I have attention daughter deficit. There you go. Oh, Mama Bear called you out. She said, "Oh, he always has that excuse." <laughs> Eric said, "I've always wanted a YouTube channel since then. But for my sixth birthday, my mom allowed me to do YouTube." That's awesome, Eric. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome, Eric. Well, I I used you as a reference to help my friend out, uh, you know, whose daughter wants to try to start, or her son wants to to try to start a channel. Well, Bear Cup wants some later. Yeah, you can smash me if you want. I don't think so. But outdoors says you're so right. Okay, it's. I don't know if it's hey, like because we have short attention spans because I, I have a pretty good attention span. Hey, all these guys are dads. Yeah. Hey, and hi. They're all dads and they're my age. So you're not going to win this one. Just saying. Wait, you're I, I think I might. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try. Like, I have a good attention span when I pay attention. Okay. But yep. if I don't pay attention, I just hear everything. Like I hear four different conversations, and I chime in each one of them. Well, Eric, I I, I know the amount of work that goes into one of these uh, channels, and man, your mom's awesome, man. And give her a big hug for us. I'm glad that uh, she lets you do it. It is it. What I told my yep, friend Eric was, you know, this is a great is a way. This is a great way to get the kids. Um, you know, you can use them as learning tools to help them get out of their shells so they're not so introverted when they grow up. You know, get some mm -hmm. kind of outside their box a little bit, not afraid to me mess up. You know, yep. teach them. Uh, whoa, ho, 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 look at that. Oh, my goodness. my goodness. Attention spam. Exhibit A. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hey, goodness. just called you out. You didn't even realize it. Uh, uh, did, do you see that? <laughs> oh, the oh. dismount. She got it. <laughs> oh, she said. Touchdown. Could <laughs> do a crazy pop said wow. And Mr. Cast Iron said, Squirrel. Let's ring the bell. All we right. get it from him. Yo. <laughs> if you want to frisk it up, that's oh fine. We got eight All right, so we, we still got people. What are you doing for Sweet yours? Killing me, small. Exactly. She kills me <laughs> every time, and that's one of the, our favorite sayings: "Is you're killing me, Smalls." Pay and I both have the yep. shirts that say that on there. Sydney, you got some more supporters. Ooh. Texas Buck Outdoors said, okay, girl, just hit it out the park with that cook. I'm trying. I'm trying. Crazy Pop chimed in, and he said, oh, yeah, perfect. Thank Behind you, the Ranch Barbecue said, money. Eric chimed in. He said, I've been putting a video up every week since I started YouTube in May of 2020. You have a better record than I do, Eric. I've just, I've, I've, I haven't posted in maybe close to two years. Yes, Peyton wanted a YouTube channel for a long time, and we let her get one for her birthday. What was it your 14th, 13th, 14th? I don't Something. know. Something. Because I was had one of her birthday presents, and she was so excited. <clears throat> and then I finally got her to. Start uploading, 
and then she just up and quit. So uh, we're trying to get her back into going. Uh, my brother is just got into air fryers, and I said, you know, hey, you guys should change recipes back and forth and get into to cooking air fryer stuff, and that way he can see what you're doing, and you can might be able to teach him something. And also, <clears throat> this, my dad and his kids and cubs, we're very cooky. My uncle is not. Have a good so, one, Uncle. <laughs> uncle Butch. Have a good one. I didn't mean to be on blast, but. But you did. You did. Yep. Crazy Pop said, I really got to run, but I really enjoyed it this morning. Well, that's good. And have a great day. Thank you for coming by. Eric said, I'll be seven in May. Oh, buddy, we're going to make you a birthday cake. In Sydney? Yep. Yes, I'm. Like, have a good one, Mike. About you. Jeff says this girl is showing us yep. all up. Um, oh, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Cat, yeah, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. He's like, like, this girl's showing us. Man, Sydney, you're more popular than dad, I think. Look at yep. me. One half only. Yeah, yeah, Jeff, this is her first time <laughs> making this. First time doing it on a griddle and first time on cast iron. Eric, and maybe one said, of a handful of times that she just has cooked, period. It is. Especially with bacon grease. Oh, yeah. I love my air fryer. Yeah, I love Guys, that. big chocolate oh. cake. Eric, Eric, we will make you a chocolate cake. Mm. Yep, we'll make you one, buddy. Yep. And Uncle Andy, he said, I love my air fryer. I love the air fryer, too. It's really good. It's good. Yep. Pay your guy to start making some air fryer videos for your uncle. I know. Got to teach him the ways around it. You can cut that burner off. Cause we're about done. Mm hmm. He's got a different style, though. His is, uh, we got that Farberware or something or other. And his is, uh, yeah. His has got the drawer in it. Where ours has got the door. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Tennessee Buck said, well, she's rocking it. Well, thank you. She likes her Waffle House. Pickles. Do. That, yeah. Pickles said, cast iron will last longer than anyone here. It's a forever thing. You ain't yes. kidding. Absolutely. One of the big attractions for me with the cast iron is, is just that, that. If I can teach these kids how to cook on it, that's a skill that they'll pass on with that piece of cast iron. Uncle Andy said, I'll video my microwave eggs for bear cubs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. So, so Mama my brother bear. cooked eggs in Mama. the microwave. Eric gave you some love. He, would, he gave you some hearts. He, he dumps... Mama Bear like, said thanks, Eric. He dumps <laughs> eggs into a bowl, throws them in the microwave, and then throws some toast in a toaster, goes gets ready for work, comes out, and he's got breakfast. And Bear Cup thought that was the absolute craziest thing she'd ever seen. Yep. Mm -hmm. We need to smash those again? Yeah. See, Dad's getting a little antsy. Being Why did you sound upset? Yep. Yeah, I want to get in here and like do this with her, but she's doing such a good job. She's behind this camera walking around getting antsy. Yeah, I can't stand still. I'm on my third cup of coffee since we started this. <laughs> nope. I don't think that's the reason, Dad. I think it's your ADHD. Oh, Peyton, don't even try that. <laughs> there you go, Sid. You want to say something to the people? 
Um, thanks for all the support and the love that Dad gets every day. Every day he's calling me, telling me, guess how many followers I got? Guess who commented on this? Guess who I want to go meet? So, gives him something to smile about other than us, you know. This is a, this is a great family to be a part of. Yeah, other than our Not just my daughter. Not just the Bear Cave, but the, uh, the, the YouTube cooking community. Eric really said, I worked really video. hard. I had worked really hard on my carnival video this week, but it's a bit boring. I want to take a little break. because I Plus, I also had a test this week. Well, always put school first, Eric. That's a good skill to have. Yep. And Eric, I really enjoyed your carnival video. Let's see what you're doing here, kid. Julie, I sure wish I could get my 16-year-old daughter camp to camp up with me like Baby Bear here. LOL. She's too cool, apparently. I need her help to create my channel. Just uh, so something I've that, been like, interests her most. That way she can kind of get into it, too. Yeah, what I and found is, way. like... Um, Kay wanted to, she's looking at getting into broadcasting for her career. And so when I kind of related doing the lives to the broadcasting field, how it would help her get out of her shell and keep up with, you know, uh, reading the comments and whatnot, that she was like, all right, cool, let's do it. You know, and, and that's one thing I would, I've tried to express to everybody is, if your kids want to get involved in a way to get the kids involved is to show them how it, it'll affect them on a day-to-day -day basis in what they want to do, you know, find something that they want to cook mm -hmm. and don't, don't have them on the camera at first, unless they want to be just show the hands doing it and then gradually work up to, to where they're in there. Uh, Bear Cubs the same way. She's, very picky on what videos she wants to be a part of. And uh, oldest bear here is the same way. And uh, this is actually the second video that she's ever been in. And when this is our third year yep. of YouTube. Pickle says the YouTube cooking family really rocks. That it does. She's in low gator shake. Yep. Nice. Absolutely. Okay, Rock on. Watching. Mr. Cast Iron, um, somebody's live. Sometimes Mr. Cast Iron, sometimes somebody else. Or maybe a new cooking community, like people in the community. And he'll go, you got to check this out. This is fun. you got to check this out. Eric said, I got 100 in math and 95 in grammar, 85 in social studies, and a 71 in Hindi. Y'all take oh, Hindi? <laughs> Yeah. Awesome job. Awesome job. Julie said Paris will go on Snapchat all the day. She's not shy about that. <laughs> I get well, that. Well, if you find something like uh, with Bear Cub, if it's got chocolate in it, she'll want to do it. But if not, Pretty then much. it's kind of like, man, I don't want to do this. So just yeah. find something that she she wants to she wants to make. Like if she says, "Hey, I'm hungry." All right, what do you want? Yep, Eric. He said that he learns Hindi and Spanish. That's really cool. I I never heard of somebody learning Hindi. It's like he's he's in Trinidad and Tobago. I, oh, okay. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't speak that up here in the Carolinas. Man, say that was. She's just trying to use up the leftovers, so somebody's gonna have lunch later. Put some more cheese on that, and then don't. Probably you. Probably. Yeah. Oh boy, boy. Man, sis gonna go home with like a little chef hat and be like, look. I'm ready to we. I mean, Jess and Mikey want me to make this for them, so I guess that's what I'm doing next week. 
Yeah. We'll have to. It's yep. gonna be my favorite thing. You're really called that. Hey, Ted. How do I do it? She wants to learn some more recipes in her cast iron skillet, so we'll work on that a little bit later. Uh, hey, uh, Julie says she found pears on the kitchen floor crying because her waffle nuts were sticky. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I, I understand that one. I have all See, girls. See, Dad would chase me. Mm-hmm. Whenever yes. Sydney was grouchy, she he would chase her and throw Hershey kisses at her until she would calm down. Oh yeah, or M&M. So be careful. The power of young ladies and chocolate is amazing. Uh, Tennessee Bug Outdoors said, "Eric, one day we'll teach you Southern talk." LOL. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize how different I talk compared to my younger sister, Erica, because I have much of a little southern accent. People are like, oh, is she from Britain? Is she like English? And we're like, no. But apparently, I sound super southern, and she doesn't, and then Sydney sounds a little hood. Yeah, we'll teach you words like but, fixing to, young to, y'all. Down yonder. Down, down yonder. Out in the holler. The holler. Yep. Yep. Really? And then think- down here, Eric, just a little tip. We don't say words like how they're supposed to be. It's always shortened or something. Well, let me get you another plate. Eric also said cooking with family is the best that it is yes i never thought i'd see the day sydney cooking on a black or a broke stone ha ha you're so funny peyton <laughs> you've done you've done a wonderful job are you really yeah. make that dismount really good because that could be my thumbnail pickle said is that the singing bass for Jackrow? Oh, yeah, look at the dismount. Is. She's getting good. Hey, I give that a 10 out of 10. Well, thank you. Yeah, there's a line. Is that your singing bass? Yes, it is. That is... Uh, Billy Bass right there. What? His batteries are out. I took the batteries out because we don't use them that often. Oh, that used to be my favorite thing. The singing yep. bass. The singing bass. Yep. Mama right said, there, oh, sit. Scoot over. All right. All right. All right, Peg. That is our, that is our breakfast. So we're gonna go eat and then get cleaned up and uh, You're cut out, get ready man. for our food. Huh? All right. Well, that's Your all head's we got to cut sleep. out. And Julie said, "Don't mess with Mama Bear." Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> all right, guys. That's all we got this week. We will see you guys later. Remember, there's two rules in cooking. You know them. A family that cooks nope. together. Well, there's that one. That's not one. Let's see did you have fun? I did have fun. Did it taste good? It did. Rock on. You and you are awesome. <laughs> have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all.